enter into nitya satsang again i want to expand on power of words still that four important ideas are sitting in my inner space for more and more ideas to come out more and more sacred secrets to come out more and more truths to be revealed power of words i can give you one small example if you just go on a train for a few days i am sick i am sick i am sick and others also utter that words towards you you will be simply sick i am giving you the negative example because the negativity catches you very quickly <laughs> you catch negative examples very quickly same way if you constantly tell yourself <coughs> i am healthy i am healthy i am healthy and you use the same words towards others also to others also i am healthy i am healthy i am healthy i tell you from somewhere the courage and energy and kundalini will be awakened in you the courage and kundalini will be awakened in you you will really be healthy you need to know this truth which is a very important truth i wanted every one of you to know this truth listen come to the space of listening dhyan se suniye as natural programming you tend to hold your words up and high so when you give a word to yourself and others i am healthy i am healthy the extra kundalini awakens in your system and holds your declaration as reality holds your declaration high and up words you utter towards you the words you utter towards others are so powerful you need to know the words you utter towards yourself and others guides your thinking the way your thinking flows just decide not even one year six months and all one month decide today sit and design means write down what way you want you what way you want you sit and pen down and after pinning down next one month go on uttering the words as if you already become that for example you decide you will become a wealthy healthy enlightened being wealthy healthy enlightened being everyone ah that is too much <laughs> first of all you should know you have a right to dream cosmos does not make fun of you when you dream please understand cosmos dreams along with you it sympathizes with your dream because you have a right to dream understand about that first maybe your boss mocks at you when you dream maybe people are jealous of you make fun of you when you dream hinduism gives you the complete right 
for your inner image outer image others image and life image that is why even in our sangha i tell people practically that guy may be useless and a headache for the whole sangha but he has a right to have the inner image outer image life image and others image that he is in our incarnation he has the right he has the right to have the inner image outer image life image and others image that is an enlightened being he is an incarnation he has the right hinduism does not make fun of your dreaming abilities i tell you in any field if dreams are not marked at only then growth will happen when right brothers wanted to fly if people made fun of their dreams what would have happened of course all of you should know right brothers were not the first people to fly 70 years before the right brothers a brahmin priest in mumbai has built aircraft as per the vedic traditions vaimanika shastra and flew 3 km 1500 feet high in front of baroda maharaja in front of king and his court he flew and safely landed and he has demonstrated unfortunately when the british came they killed that whole family in some false cases pretext and stolen the aircraft and wiped the whole signs out they managed that the whole thing is forgotten no trail is left you need to know very important truth if the dreams are not allowed if the dreams are made fun of growth is not possible the whole effort i am trying to do in my training is not to make fun of dreams but helping them to take responsibility i always insist on helping people take responsibility for their dream dreaming itself should not be stopped or deprived i tell you when you dream cosmos dreams through you it yearns for you to become reality mother yearns her child to become a man or woman <coughs> yearns mother yearns for a child just like mother yearns for the child to become man or woman cosmos yearns for you to become the reality long long before the right brothers mr a resident of mumbai a scholar in sanskrit literature especially of the vedas an inventor and a teacher in the school of arts he built an aircraft and flew and showed life life yearns for you to become reality 
when you dream life dreams through you please listen the moment you start dreaming life starts building its dreams about you dreams of life for you are 100 times more stronger and powerful than anything you can dream for yourself the dreams life can dream for you is 1000 times more powerful than the dreams you can create for yourself but when you start dreaming for yourself the life dreams for you starts opening up itself through you you might have tried and started dreaming to become a mla but life will dream and make you a chief minister i am giving you an example you might have started dreaming for million dollars but life will dream to make you a billionaire understand life's dreams for you are always larger than your dreams for yourself so i tell you when you dream life does not make fun of you only when you don't take responsibility for your dreams you make fun of yourself and collapse life never makes fun of you you make fun of you when you don't take responsibility for it when you don't take responsibility life collapses you i have a small story about power of words listen once a small town was visited by a saint as he passed by a small hut a woman came to him and begged him to pray for her critically ill child since the saint was new to the town a crowd gathered around him and see if he could do anything the woman brought the sick child to him and he said a prayer over her do you really think your prayer will help her when medicine has failed yelled the man from the crowd from the crowd one guy shouted will your prayer work when the medicine has failed you idiot you don't know what i am doing and just shut up said the saint to the man the man became furious with these words with his face grew hot and red he was about to say something or perhaps hit the saint and the saint walked over to man to him and said if one word has such a power as to make you so angry and hot may not another word have a power to heal when one word can make you mad another one word can make you heal understand life in its pure form expects you to dream larger and larger spaces larger and larger possibility and take responsibility for your dreams start dreaming and i am adding a step further 
from today once you completed the dream declare completion with the space all the time that deprived of not making your dream into reality that is one of the important space you carry you always feel i can dream but i will never be able to make it reality complete with that space and declare from now it is reality start walking talking speaking thinking that you already become healthy wealthy enlightened being you already become that start talking walking thinking feeling there is no such thing as too many enlightened beings cannot be in one place thousands and thousands of enlightened beings can be together because they become one space i have always seen in the inner awakening program the third day when they go through that introduction of mamakara inner image outer image and life image and other image suddenly such beautiful bonding love the oneness is experienced among the whole group after that i have never seen a bickering between the group <laughs> otherwise such large number when they gather usually when a large number of people gather this kind of programs from various background age education lot of confusions happen but i can say that never never ever the confusion happens in our program i have seen always because the whole knowledge the whole understanding that everyone is in the same space like you gives you tremendous feeling of oneness i tell you if every one of you declare even more than one third of you declare sincerely your dream and started living the whole energy in your family in your society in your city wherever you live will become different listen power of your thinking i tell you just declare for one month and let your thinking speaking all your actions and living your behavior everything radiate your declaration you will see suddenly in a month you would have grown so much you would have traveled too far away from the old the impossible personality impossible personality is what we call shudra 
in vedic tradition in vedic tradition sudra is not defined based on birth the impossible personality the person who is stuck with the impossible personality means doubt on yourself doubt on others doubt on your ability to relate with others when you are stuck with the impossible attitude you are a sudra but you are stuck with the self doubt but you have a you don't have any doubt towards your ability to relate with others then you become kshatriya your doubt on others whether others can do or not only that is there but otherwise you don't have doubt about yourself then you become vaishya if you have completed with all the doubts neither you have a self doubt whether i can do it or not nor you have doubt on others whether he can do it or not or you don't have doubt towards your ability to convey inspire the other person all doubts are complete you become brahmana understand it is just your personality which makes you a brahmana a kshatriya vaishya or sudra a community based on understanding and ability not by birth community based on understanding and ability not by birth that should be the lifestyle aaj me shabdo ki i'll give the essence in hindi aaj me shabdo ki shakti par aur gehri vyakhya dunga udaharan ke liye yadi aap kuch dino ke liye yeh कहे कि मैं बीमार हूं और दूसरे भी यही कहते हैं आप बीमार पड़ जाएंगे उसी तरह यदि आप कुछ दिनों के लिए यह कहे कि मैं स्वस्थ हूं और दूसरों भी दूसरे भी यही कहते हैं कहीं से आपकी कुंडलिनी शक्ति जागृत हो जाएगी और आप स्वस्थ हो जाएंगे ध्यान से सुनिए स्वभाव से ही आप अपने शब्दों को अपने वचनों का सम्मान करते हैं इसीलिए जब कोई वचन देते हैं चाहे वो स्वयं के प्रति हो या दूसरों के प्रति ये बहुत ही शक्तिशाली है आपके शब्द ही आपकी सोच का मार्गदर्शन करते हैं आज बाइट आज बाइट कार लिखिए कि आप स्वयं को कैसे चाहते हैं और फिर अगले महीने उन शब्दों का प्रयोग कीजिए जैसे आप ओह ये बन गए हैं ब्रह्मांड आपको स्वप्न देखने का अधिकार देते हैं देता है ब्रह्मांड स्वयं आपके साथ स्वप्न देखता है स्वप्न का उत्तरदायित्व लेना आवश्यक है किंतु हिंदू धर्म कभी आपको स्वप्न देखने से नहीं रोकता है जीवन आपकी आशा आपके स्वप्न को सत्य में परिवर्तित होने की प्रतीक्षा करता है जो स्वप्न जीवन आपके लिए स्वप्न देख सकते है सकता है ओह आपके स्वयं के स्वप्नों से हजारों गुना अधिक है जीवन आपके स्वप्नों का मजाक नहीं उड़ाता है जब अपने स्वप्नों का उत्तरदायित्व नहीं लेते हैं आप स्वयं अपना मजाक उड़ाते हैं understand j 
जीवन अपनी शुद्ध अवस्था में आपसे अपेक्षा करता है कि आप स्वप्ना देखें और अपनी स्वप्नों का उत्तरदायित्व ले आज से अपनी इस अपूर्णता के साथ पूर्णत्व लाइए जिसके कारण आप ये सोचते हैं कि आपके स्वप्न वास्तविकता में परिवर्तित नहीं हो सकते हैं आपकी घोषणा को बस एक महीने के लिए हर दिन जिए द एसेंस व्हाट आई वांटेड टू एक्सप्रेस टू ऑल ऑफ यू थ्रू टुडे सत्संग इज ड्रीम योर बेस्ट पॉसिबिलिटी एंड डिक्लेअर इट स्टार्ट थिंकिंग लिविंग एक्टिंग डूइंग एवरीथिंग एज इफ योर डिक्लेरेशन इज ऑलरेडी बिकम रियलिटी do it then you will understand the power of your words power of your thinking power of your feeling and power of your living let you all achieve experience live express radiate share and explode in eternal bliss ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಪೀಠ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ನಗರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈಸೂರು ರೋಡ್ ಬಿಡದಿ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಫೋನ್ ಜೀರೋ ಏಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ಟೂ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಟೂ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಡಬಲ್ ನೈನ್ ಡಬಲ್ ನೈನ್ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ 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 ಡಾಟ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಡಾಟ್ ಒ ಆರ್ ಜಿ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ 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 ಡಾಟ್ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಕಾಮ